Welcome to this tutorial on data input. Okay, first of all, I would like to share my screen. Okay, it will happen sooner rather than later. Okay, so here we go. Now, so you will use the MassSchool.net system to enter your data. You will be given a code. Now, so when you log in, first of all, you will see grade. Um, if by any chance it's in Thai, you just go up here, you click on here, and you can change it to English. Okay, then you'll see one, two, three, five icons. So you basically click on this one, grade by subject. And then you will see the options. OK, so you have to obviously know your code. Now, so this is what 2.6 looks like. OK, the code, eighth grade, the room and the program. And then we click on record score. OK. And then you ignore the first option, which is before midterm. And if you're not, if you're unsure about this, this confuses some teachers. What 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 is before midterm? So they sometimes think maybe it's formative one or something, but actually it's not. So how you know for sure that no data goes in here? You would see max score zero right here. So that's a clear indication you don't need any data here. Now. So we click on this arrow, and this is what, where we where where we are now. So midterm re-exam is next. So let's have a look at midterm re-exam. So the students that fail the summative exam or the midterm, as some people call it, appear here. So you will maybe see five, six, seven, eight students' names. Now in the summative, any score below fourteen is a fail and those students must do the retest. Now in the retest, the max score is 14. OK, max. Now, so we enter the formative. Next is the formative. We enter the formative data in the same order as in the marking criteria spreadsheet. So column one is formative one, column two, formative two, column three, reading and writing, listening and speaking in column four and work slash project column five. Now, as you can see, it's max 10 in each area. If you try to enter like 11, 12, 15, 20, whatever, the system will not allow you. So it's good in that way. So there should be five scores and the max is 50. OK. As you can see here, max score 50. Now, the effect of the main. Maximum 10, minimum 8. Effective domain is essentially, it's about participation and attitude. In my opinion, it is very subjective. But for me over the years, if a student doesn't cause any problems, um, even let's say there's a student, he's very quiet, quite shy, he doesn't participate, but he does the work and he does his best, I would give him a 10. I don't think it's fair to penalize a child because he's shy. That's not fair. <laughs> OK, so don't forget maximum 10, minimum eight. Now, so uh, for the summative and the final scores, you have to submit these to the academic department, um, not only in the system, but also you have to send PDF files. So to get a PDF file, what you have to do is go after you've clicked, you've entered the final scores at the if you go, if you scroll down to the end of the page and you click on preview, you will then see what, what in the middle box here, it says print. So you click on print and then on in the third box, you'll see, you'll see save as PDF. And there you go. It's a piece of cake. OK. So that's only after you, that's just after the summative and the final exams. You have to send the PDFs, okay? 
now. So let's just have a look at the marking criteria. So formative F1 is formative one, and it, it, it is administered prior to the midterm. And the rationale is to establish what students have grasped to date with a view to knowing what needs reviewing for upcoming exam. Okay, and formative two administered prior to final exam and similar rationale to formative one. The work project, it's in column five. Let me just get the, where is that pointer? Okay, the pointer, here we go. Column five, column five. So the work project in column five depends on the level or the class. Students doing IELTS, for example, could do related tasks. For ex they could do maybe a uh, task one, which uh, task one in IELTS, uh, one, as one example would be they have to describe a, a graph, for example. Students with homework phobia. Now, over the years, I have found that some students do not like doing homework. So in those situations, I played Kahoot quite often, and then I would record the scores, average the scores, and enter the average into column five. Now, some teachers I know in M3 recently, teacher Lawrence gave the students a team projects. I believe the topic was something related to the environment. So they had to do that in teams and uh, submit um, videos. So again, column five is up to up to the teacher, depending on the level and the class. So the effective score, as I already said, is related to participation and attitude. Again, that's very subjective. And the final exam does not require a re-exam. Students that get 50 or above pass the semester. Many students are very eager to get at least 80 because that is grade four. Okay, right, and assumption really want 70% of the students to get 70% or above for each semester. So ideally, 70% of your students should have 70, 75, 80, up to 100. Okay, right. So let's, so that is about it. I hope you understood everything that I have tried to explain. Okay, um, so there you go. If you've got any questions, always happy to help. Okay. Take care and thank you for your attention. Goodbye.